What's the verdict? It's uh, oily. That should be inside of the brakes. My wiper is um, failing. We moeten zo stoppen want mijn ruiter is er die is er mee gestopt. Oké. Dat is de worst possible timing. Het heeft niet geregend al week. En nu het eindelijk regent. Ik denk dat er een schroefje van de arm losgetild is. There's one little bit of a um, uh, screw on the shaft of the of the windshield wiper, windshield wiper, and that uh, came loose. So well, it's working again! Yay! And now we can see again! Yay! So no. And you think the Unimog has some big wheels? We are going to Mappe for the off-road adventure weekend thingy. And um, we were there way too early, so we decided to visit a small museum. Turns out the Morg Museum isn't really small. It's um, just as big as this machine here. So if you're into big machinery and old stuff, this is a cool museum to visit. It's a little bit older than the Unimog. More museum. It's nice. We have arrived! Yes, at the uh, hotel. Yeah, at the, our hotel for the night. <laughs> no, of course not. We have our own campsite in front of... <gasps> We've been here five minutes. We're already wrenching. While driving, I noticed that uh, the Unimog was like wanting to go to the right, so I figured there must be a problem on the left hand side with the brakes. Unfortunately, I was right. They're good oil brakes. Yeah, so it looks like my uh, my bearing seal there is uh, axle seal is um, gone. Kaput. Kaput. I should have the parts for this with me. So, but we are in the middle of an yeah. event yeah, this parking is, lot. This is uh, this is um, uh, all or nothing situation. If it doesn't help, well then I have to limp home.
with my tail between my legs and watch Odin and Roy have fun tomorrow. And of course I'm not going to admit doing that, so we're going to try and fix it. This is my very own uh, Goat Dakar team, fixing my Dakar truck in the middle of night so we can go on with the rally tomorrow. With all the correct tools. With all the correct tools. Yes, uh, so there's a uh, what we call a Borg uh, schijf, Dutch word of the day, because I don't know how the hell it's called in English. It's a uh, locking disc thingy. A security disc. It stops the, the bolt on the end from coming out while you're driving, which is very convenient. Yeah. But it doesn't do that when you're driving. Oh. Except so. now we do want it to come out. Yeah. So um, we'll keep on hammering. After hammering and for some time we finally got the, the ring to loosen up so we could finally try and loosen the bolt. Yeah. So we're gonna do this for the a next couple, couple, of, a couple more times. But if you do that, make sure that you can't see it but we put kegs here to uh, make sure that it doesn't move. Yeah. Anyway, we'll keep you posted. More trucks, yeah. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I just turned off the camera, and Roy actually. Oh, no, I did it with my pinky. Yeah, That's how of course, I am. of course you did. Now Roy just, we couldn't. Both of us couldn't turn it, and then Roy just like. <laughs> so yeah. Well, hop seal removal in pitch black. Underneath the cooling tower at Mapper. So that's the first hurdle. And the second one is we need to get the big ass wheel hub out of it. And just pull like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's step number 6511. Three hours later. Yeah, wheels back on. Because we gave up. For now. For now. It is late. Our camper neighbors, camping neighbors wanted to go to sleep. And we want some adult beverages. So, yeah. We'll continue sometime tomorrow. First thing in the morning we get back to it again. Unfortunately, the wheel hub didn't budge. Clearly we didn't have the correct tools for this job. So we decided to just put the wheels back on and it was time for some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, the first Unimog has already got stuck. And it's not one of ours! <laughs> hey! Did he do the exact same thing I did last year? Yes! Can yes, he did. I mean, the thing weighs seven tons, so it took a lot of force, and by a lot of force, I mean my bumper pin. <laughs> we actually bent the bumper pin, and that, in the meantime, bent the entire bumper. It is fun to follow another unibot. 
So this is how you guys feel all the time? Yes. yes. <laughs> when you're more than one, 180 centimeters long, and you need to drive shotgun because your union work is uh, <laughs> just broken down. Ah! Uh -huh. I feel like one of those girls in the movies, you know. <laughs> Sheesh! So how does it feel to uh, pull another Unimog out of the sand? Good, because you know who's gonna get our new trophy now. Ooh, yes, the trophy. I already forgot those. Oh, nice. Thank you. 
Proberen. Oh my god. How did you get here? What <laughs> a magic of video. What the My camera! <laughs> <laughs> yep, yeah, I'm in the splash zone. Yes, I do. Maybe you
What do you think about the map off-road terrain? It's good. It's challenging and uh, it's a lot of fun. The aftermath of a day off-roading. When you bring your camper off-roading. So apparently my Unimog isn't the only one losing some fluids. You are leaking go fluid. I am leaking stop fluid. I'm almost breaking my neck. <laughs> yes, I'm leaking the go juice and you are leaking the stop juice. How bad is it? Oof. <laughs> Oof. Da. Oi, oi. Well, there's a problem. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I'm ready, I'm ready. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Vroom. <laughs> What's the verdict? It's uh, oily. That should be inside of the brakes. Das ist nicht gut. No. Stop juice on your tires is not good, it makes it stop. <laughs> I feel like deja vu. I feel like we've done this yesterday evening. Ah, it's juicy! <laughs> yeah, that's done for. <sighs> well, tools. if you need more brake fluid, there it is. Yeah. I had this a week before our vacation. I have it during. <laughs> <laughs> I normally use the oh. drip. Yeah, yeah, that, that. Because then if it's yeah, on pipe, there. Pipe wrench, let's go. Yeah, it doesn't. So. And, and these are, these springs are bad. Yeah. They okay. have a lot of oomph behind them. Make sure they're on very tight, so you can. Yeah. So you can what? Uh, on. <laughs> that actually worked really well. Yes, I know. Uh, it's like I've done this before. <laughs> <laughs> This is probably the culprit. It's cracked. Mm, that allows for water. water and dirt to enter. Your brake assembly and to like tarnish your cups. And if that happens, it'll leak. So what's the Dutch word of the day? Ramtrommel. <laughs> Repeat after me. Yeah, Ramtrommel. Break drum. Yay! <laughs> oh, this is getting more ridiculous every episode. <laughs> but we're keeping it in because it's stupid. Just like us. Odin has um, used wet sanding paper to hone a little bit of the inside of the. Uh, uh, brake cylinder P600, which are luckily neighbors. Yeah. Yes, they have been very lovely. And uh... yeah, thanks for the neighbors for uh, sharing their uh, schuurpapier. Oh, no, we already have a Dutch word of the, of the day, so sandpaper with us. And um, now it's just cleaning everything, clean all the mess, and uh, getting it back together again. Odin is being very helpful. The brakes are bled. I guess they have uh, a hard thing now. 
But I have a question for you guys. <laughs> yeah, there it is. What does this have to do with bleeding your brakes? This is a uh, emergency tire repair kit. No, we didn't use the uh, the contents of this container. Nor did we use the adjacent parts here. But there's one thing you always need when bleeding some brakes. And that's a tube. So what we did is we cut the tube. Oh like out of the thingamajig and then we have a bleeding ble brake bleeding tube thingy yes it works so it was an emergency repair kit <laughs> just not emergency repair kit for the kit for the repair we needed to we just needed this but anyway we used an emergency repair set for something completely different <laughs> The next morning it was time to head home. The brakes held perfect and there was no more problem with the brakes. With my Unimog on the other hand, there were some unexpected troubles. So, um, looks like my oil pressure gauge has just um, catastrophically failed somewhere along the way. So, first I was like, ah, oh, now the axle seal is gone completely. And I was like, but that's not coming from the axle. And then I saw that everything up here is dripping with oil. And here behind the electronics, that's, um, yeah, that's, that's hazard. So, yeah. unfortunately I cannot fix this on the road. I don't really like to pinch the uh, pinch the uh, line because then I can have to reinstall the entire line and so yeah toilet paper putting pressure on the wounds something like that and uh, I'm gonna limp back home it is time for the first annual event <laughs> and eventual <laughs> eventual <laughs> award. Yes, the eventual award because it's every big event we want to do the thing. It is time for the shovel of shame. Shame there's a soundtrack now. Claire, yay. Anyway, these are the nominees because I was disqualified for not and for not entering the uh, no. the arena. <laughs> <laughs> we have Odin for entering the big pit and Roy for doing the miniature Superman. Well, you all know who did it because, well, the hole that's that's a calculated risk. <laughs> but yeeting yourself over a over a small hill, dangling your tires across the air, yeah, who should have, who would do that? Who would do such a thing? <laughs> yeah. And I was mocked for that a lot by you. <laughs> <laughs> so congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Where would the <you> fries? <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna limp back home. I'm gonna say goodbye to Roy because well he lives in another place. Yes where we uh, part ways and I hope I will get home with at least some oil left in my uni more. What did I say? <laughs> Is it strong enough? Yes, yes, it's very, it's... Of course! Of course, it's very strong. Yeah.
Nope. <laughs>